Hello there, and it's good to have you with me today. I want to thank God that uh, as we live our lives and as we go into everything that we are doing, something that comes out very significantly is just how amazing the grace of God can be. And so I want to talk about God's amazing grace. Indeed, it is amazing because, you know, if we look at our lives, we don't merit anything, you know. It is like everything that comes to us, even as much as we put in our effort and as much as we think that we may have acquired it or we may have worked towards achieving it, really, at the end of it, we can only say that it is the grace of God that has really been fair to us, it has enabled us, it has opened doors of opportunity for us. And so I want to begin by talking about the amazing grace in three dimensions. Number one, we want to also agree and appreciate that if it wasn't the grace of God by faith, we can never come into salvation. We can never receive the gift of God of salvation. And, uh, you know, I know for many of us in different places where we stay, in the different lives that we have lived, and you know where God has picked you from and where God found you, one of the things that come out very clearly in the Bible is that many, and if not all the people who ever came into contact with God, it was simply because of God's grace. They would never have come closer to understanding and appreciating God, but somehow God, out of his own grace, opened up himself to them and brought them near to himself. Like, for example, the life of Paul. If it wasn't the grace of God, Paul was going in a totally different direction. He was out to persecute the church and bring a lot of disgrace to the church. But because of the grace of God, somehow God brought him to the saving knowledge. And so the first dimension about God's amazing grace is how he can save a wretched man, a wretched woman, and make them to become an orderly person, a peaceful person, and a person who can be able to bring life out of the bad things that were there in the past. And so that is the first dimension I want to talk about in terms of God's amazing grace. And then secondly, the other thing about God's amazing grace is his unmerited favor. You know, every day openings and opportunities come our way. Some of them probably that we never thought would come our way. We get to meet people probably never thought we would be able to meet. We are able to accomplish certain goals in our lives which we never thought we would have ever been able to accomplish. And that I would attribute it to the unmerited favor of God. I know many times we want to put in our own effort and we want to look like we are the ones doing everything. But I know, as the Bible says, even for those of us who earn wealth, it is God who gives us the health to earn that wealth. It is God who opens doors of opportunity for you to do whatever that you are doing in life. And so God's amazing grace really is an opportunity where we don't merit some of the things that we have, some of the positions that we have in life, some of the things that we have acquired in life have come simply because of God's unmerited favor. He just favored you. Not because you are any sharper, not because you are more connected, not because of any other thing, but simply because God is a loving God and he just merited you to have that privilege and opportunity that you may be having in life. The third thing that I see about God's unmerited favor is that God's unmerited favor brings about uh, God's enabling power. You know, when we talk about God's grace, we also talk about God's enabling power. That power that gives us the strength to rise up and keep on going in life. That power that helps you not to give up when you're faced with challenges and difficulties in life. And we normally say it is the grace of God that has helped me. It is the grace of God that has enabled me. Yes, indeed, it is the grace of God. Sometimes we don't lean on our own understanding. We don't lean on our own strength, but we lean on the provision and on the uh, ability for God to work in us, both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. And so I want to encourage somebody out there. I don't know what you may be facing. I don't know where you are in your walk with God or some of the challenges that life may brought about your way. 
I just want to remind you that God is one who grants us this amazing grace. And when we have this amazing grace, we have the support of God. We have the favor of God of our lives. We have the enabling power that brings us into the places where we would not otherwise have been able to bring ourselves into. And so I just want to pray with you and I want to trust that God's amazing grace will be your portion. Allow me to pray with you. And so Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for my listener and my viewer, whatever they are, whatever is their situation and circumstances, I just pray that you may unfold unto them your amazing grace. This amazing grace that saves us, this amazing grace that gives us your favor, this amazing grace that enables us to accomplish our tasks and our goals in life. And so may you bless them and may you keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, remember, it is God's amazing grace that you need.